see. What's going on, everybody? It is Friday night, 6.55, and we have got another Indiana basketball game headed right at us in about eight minutes or so, it looks like. Um, Indiana will play another home game today against Kennesaw State, another team I don't know very much about, but hey, is what it is, and this is our last warm-up game before we go into the Big Ten regular uh, thick part of the season. And the main news story of the day, you know, we don't have Trace Jackson Davis again. And, you know, we're sitting there thinking about, well, he needs to rest up, you know, on these cupcake games, yada, yada, yada. But since our lineup's changed quite a bit, it's really nice to have the main guy in your offense out there when, uh, you know, you're going to need him come the Big Ten season more than anything. And what I mean by that is, that offense works best when it runs through him on the post. Now, Race Thompson and Malik Renew are going to fill that void down there on the post. Those guys need to be fed the ball to simulate what we want to do with Trace in the game. Puppet says, game's tied 0-0. Oh, what's up, brother? Nice to see you. I hope you have a Merry Christmas this weekend. Uh, it's cold here. Alex and I will probably hibernate as much as we can this weekend. I have got, look, man. You want to know how cold it is in my basement? I got my fireplace turned on. <coughs> I don't, not much in the being cold, as you can see. We dip down really fast. On your way to your sister's. Nice. Well, man, I hope you have a great Christmas, brother, and everybody that comes in tonight, uh, say hello, and so I can wish you a Merry Christmas. I hope everybody enjoys this weekend. Negative five degrees this summer to you. Puppet, where are you from? At Alaska? Yes, sir, IU fan. Oh, by far. Sports recap highlights and live scoreboard. I'll have to definitely have to check you out. Johnny Small Pepper, thank you, sir. We're getting awful close to game time. Six minutes, 18 seconds to go until the game. Everybody, I hope, has uh, a Merry Christmas. Okay, Puppet, I know you're from Southern California, so you're not fooling me one little bit. You're a Syracuse fan. Ain't nothing wrong with the, with the Jim Beheim world. That's a whole different conference. I love all of college basketball, but I only really do the IU games unless it comes to college, you know, the NCAA tournament time or something like that. Um, I love the fact that my main thing that I like about Syracuse University is they still play the zone defense very effectively. Northwestern in the Big Ten. Chris Collins is, a, is an interesting coach. I like the way he recruits. He just never seems to get it done, so that's pretty cool. There you go. Yeah, this team here has been growing over the past few seasons, trying to remove the Archie Miller uh, stink from Indiana University. He didn't do so well here. Did a phenomenal job in Dayton. Just couldn't get it done on the high in college basketball spectrum. And a lot of guys from mid-majors can't do that. Coach Woodson comes from the NBA. Bob Knight, disciple. It's going to be a few years in the uh, making, but hopefully it'll be a good thing. Dude, I just I liked watching them last year. Uh, I like watching the Bayheim brothers and stuff like that. They were really fun. Yeah, Pookie, when I got up this morning to take everybody to work, I ran shuttles. It was negative six this morning, and we're 250 miles south of you. College basketball, it just takes a good run at the right time, a team to get hot at the right time, and then you can go a long way. I believe everything begins on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, that's why I wa just watched this Rutgers team play, and they play phenomenal defense. Steve Peichel's a great coach, and they are going to have a very good opportunity to do well. That being said, Trace Jackson Davis will be sitting again tonight. I don't know about Jordan Geronimo. I know Xavier Johnson had surgery on his foot and hopes to be back by the end of the year. We shall see. 
Uh, we're going to put a lot on our freshmen tonight. And I suspect by what I saw, you know, just as far as uh, newspaper clippings on the Internet, you know, so to speak, calling it that way, we're going to see a lot of CJ Gunn. Tickets for tomorrow's football game, nine bucks. Go, Pookie. Take your GoPro and go. Good luck with that. I'm going to be watching from right here in my basement with my fireplace behind me. IU fans, let's uh, talk about the increased play of Miller Cop here in the recent. Starting to make a few shots. Hopefully we keep trending in that right direction, not making as many mistakes on defense. We're going to need another long baller. And uh, I think he's got to be the guy to do it. I'm looking forward to the last, and I and I hate to call these game cupcake games, but I don't know what else to call them. You know, last warm up game before the Big Ten season. Tim, I don't need wood for the fireplace. It's electric. It only stays on while I'm down here. Also, and then the, the fireplace upstairs has got gas logs, so it's a gas fireplace. What's up, Sam? Good evening, sir. Hope you're staying warm, as I do for everybody. I hope nobody had any car troubles and made it through, you know, the first day of this uh, winter nightmare really, uh, really well. Yeah, I got to have a little heat in this basement, Tim. It gets cold. But yeah, with that being said, those are the things that we're looking for today. Uh, getting ready to start this game in a tip off in 152. I really want to see a lot out of my freshman today. I still want to see the ball go into the post, make free throws, timely three pointers, and go about your day. Trey Galloway looks like he's getting the start as well today. Trey Galloway and uh, Jalen Hood Shafino should be running the point with uh, Malik Renu and at the five, Race Thompson at the four. Miller Cop will be on the three. Sup, Coco Mike. Happy holidays. My holidays are always spent with everybody that's close to me. My family is all in the house right now, Mike. And I'm blessed to have that, if, at least for a little while, because I know everybody's going to go their own direction. But for right now, it's nice to have everybody in the house. And we're getting ready to start. YouTube will save you. There's a lot of good people in here, Mike. A lot of nice people to, to converse with, become make your new family. It's okay to have a secondary family away from home. Time well spent. That's why I'm here right now, just so I can spend it with other people, just to get to know folks, have fun, and watch basketball and uh, share some commentary. JB's checking in early. Hope you're warm, my friend. Thank you for being here. No, uh, TJD and uh, and I don't. I'm not sure about. Um, I see Geronimo's got his, his his jumper suit or his sweats on today. I don't think he played the other day, if I can't remember. Stay warm, folks. Negative 40 yesterday, only negative 15 right now. Yeah, negative 40 sounds rough. Got to negative 6 this morning, and I wasn't happy. I'm antsy already, and we haven't even started yet. Malik Renew will do the jumping duties for the on the tip-off today. Let's go. Sign says get loud. If I get loud, I wake people up. There's a tip back. Galloway is going to control the opening tip, and he will bring the ball up midcourt. Gets it over to Shafino, who's going to run the point right now. Over to Race on the wing. Back to Renew at the top of the key. Over to Galloway on the left wing. Down to Race on the block, right where I like it. Out to Cop for three. No good. Kennesaw controls the long rebound, and we're going to come back the other way. I got a little excited there. It was a nice inside out three. Kennesaw's 
running a little bit of, of a, a pick-based offense, one four set. Here comes the pick out high. Looks to get around. He's going to drive all the way to the basket. Puts it off the glass. No good. Galloway controls. He wants to push. Hits Shafino on the wing. Shafino dribble drives all the way to the basket. Puts it up and gets the roll. Jalen Hood Shafino in transition. Scores the first basket for IU and gets the score to 2-2-0. Two, two, Kennesaw brings it back up court. Ball on the left wing. Now at the top of the key. Dribbles to the right side. Hands it off. Rotates it to the left wing for three. And it goes in, rims in and out, and goes in over Galloway. Kennesaw gets an early lead, 3-2. to two. Can't have that. Shafino passes to Galloway on the right wing, who goes back to Thompson at the top of the key, starts his dribble, hands off to Shafino. Shafino back to Galloway, down to Renew on the block. Double team comes, rotates, throws it out, rotates it to the left wing, back down to Race on the block, who's going to back his man in, turn around, jump shot. Good. Race Thompson gets his first basket. Here comes Kennesaw trailing by one. Man, I like the pace of this game so far. Gets it into the corner for another three for Kennesaw, and he buried it. That's two in a row from that corner over there. And Kennesaw goes up 6-4. I think it's the same guy. I'll see you here shortly. Race dribbles and hands it off to Cop. Cop rotates it to Galloway. There's a high pick. Shafino goes around it, and the ball's tipped out of bounds. It's going to stay with IU. And that was Jennings on the three. He's got all six points for Kennesaw. Cop inbounds to Renew. Renew over to Shafina, who's going to set the offense. Hits Galloway on the right wing. Galloway looks. Nothing doing. Gets it to Race Thompson. Double team gets him. Back out to Galloway. Down to Renew on the block. Double team comes. And they're going to call a block on Kennesaw. Looks like number five. Scoreboard's up, Sam. Right there. Uh, Von Dutch. It's a clothing brand, and uh, I, I don't know all the story for sure. I will talk about it a little later. Uh, Renew gets in the lane, puts up a hook. It's no good. Here comes back the other way. Six to four. He may not be seeing it. That's the only thing. He may not be watching on the screen. Kennesaw gets it into the corner. Gets it down on the block. He backs down. Renew puts it up high off the glass. No good. Here comes Shafino, outlets to Race Thompson, and gets it stole from him, but he gets it and throws it back out, saves it around. Galloway's got the ball. He's going to drive over to Shafino. Shafino sets high, Renew with the pick. Gets the switch. Renew goes down to the block, trying to get position. Good defense by Kennesaw, preventing Renew from getting the ball. He finally gets it on the block, backs his guy in, puts it up, no good, and he's going to draw a foul. Sam, it's six to four, Kennesaw. Are you just listening and not watching the stream? That's how you do it. If you're just listening, I'll call the score out. I forget not everybody watches the stream. Renew puts the free throw up and he hits it. Six five, Kennesaw. Okay, fair enough. Renew's going to try to tie it here. Second free throw is rims out, no good. Got you, brother. Just want to make it as good as possible. Here we go. Kennesaw's got it out high. They look, he's going to feed the block or to the top to the free throw line. There's their first sub comes in the game, tries to pass it out. He's going to drive into the baseline, puts it up. No good off the rim. Tip, no good. Galloway controls the glass. Here comes Shafino. Shafino's going to get into the middle. He loses it. Controlled by Race Thompson, who gets it to Cop. Cop hands off to Renew. Renew's going to back his guy in. Here comes the double team. Puts it up. No good. Rimmed out. Yeah, Mike, I got one of them. I just don't know which one. I think the 4 o'clock. Tipped out of bounds, it'll be Indiana basketball. 
Alex and I haven't decided who's doing what tomorrow. Um, and then I'll be, and then I'm here for one of them on Christmas day. So I got one each of the three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Shapino sets the offense out high, feeds Galloway on the left side. He's going to drive. Nothing doing. Feeds race. Race down to Renew. Renew's double teamed and trapped. Throws out of the trap. Gets it to Shapino in the corner. Galloway's going to drive. Five on the shot clock. Shapino pulls up, takes a shot. Short off the rim. No good. Here comes Kennesaw back the other way. Right on, man. We'll be here. All, we'll probably be here all three games on Christmas Day, I would think, maybe. Out of bounds at least one, maybe two, and then I know we'll be here all day tomorrow. 6-5 Kennesaw at the first time out. Shot's just not going down right now. Nathan Richardson is in the house. He is a converted. He is going to be an Indiana fan. He had no college uh, affiliations prior and he has joined Papa. They've never said JB. They're just saying that he's injured. Uh, I don't know if they're keeping him out for precautionary, just rest. Nobody's really said exactly. And you know me, I don't dig deep. If I see it on a headline, then that's great. But other than that, no. Happy holidays, brother. Alex said she was taking a nap. She's taking a nice long nap because I have not woke her up yet. Usually I get too loud down here and it gets under her skin. <laughs> no, definitely ready for uh, Big Ten season to start next week at Iowa. Iowa had a horrible loss to Eastern Illinois at home. Not sure what happened in that game. I know their leading scorer has been out as well. Uh, but that seems really strange for them to lose that game. Going to have to go do some research before we get into that. Hopefully we'll be able to, the Big Ten games will work out for us, and we can do as many as possible. That's right, Tim, by default, Indiana by default. Just fin finished wrapping the dog's presents. I got a box with some pet presents upstairs. We uh, We just haven't decorated. That may sound a little weird, but we haven't done any decoration this year. It's been a tough, it's been, it's been tough for us around here this year. Hopefully the holidays are going to, will just go by nicely is what we're hoping for. Look at all that snow in Bloomington. Cold. Let's see what the temperature is now that it's gotten dark here. We were rising all day. Hey, we're up to negative two. My dog is upstairs. Alex's cat is down here with me and he's, he's got a full belly, so he's not going to come around. Yeah, it's not been fun. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Eight likes already today. 20 in the house. Ready to start back up with some play-by-play. -play. Thank you. What kind of pooch? He is a bull mastiff. His name is Loki, Rebecca. Thank you for being here. Renew drives the baseline, gets position, puts it up and in. Malik Renew finally gets one to go down easy. Uh, Rebecca, thank you for joining us. You may join our Discord where we post memes and hang out like a family. Also, Alex has a stream or Twitch in case you're younger and like to watch video gameplay. Uh, Nathan will post links for those in the chat, I'm sure, at some point today. All right, Kennesaw's got the ball out high. 7-6 IU is going to drive, gets all the way to the basket, feeds the corner for another three. No good. Cop had position, but the ball got over his head. 
Offensive rebound, Kennesaw, and they throw it up off the glass. No good. Tipped rebound, race Thompson controls. He will bring it up as he's looking for an outlet. He hits Jalen Hood Shafino on the left wing, and he sets the offense. Shafino hits Cobb on the left wing. <coughs> Back to race over to Shafino, down to Renew on the block. Renew's got the ball. He faces man up. Good pass as race Thompson cuts to the basket. Easy points for Indiana. 9-6 IU. Link to the Discord is in the chat. Join the fam. Hang out with us. Post your memes or self-promotion. We got everything. Another long three by Kennesaw. Hard off the back iron. No good. Race Thompson. Another rebound. He's going to bring the ball up again. Looking for an outlet. He hits Galloway. Galloway drives. Gets inside. Pushes it back out to Shafino. Down to Renew on the block. Renew's got his man one-on-one. -on -one. Here comes the double team. Turn around. Feeds it out to passes to Thompson. Thompson puts it up and off the rim, no good. <clears throat> Here comes Kennesaw fast the other way. And there's going to be a jump ball. That has got, yeah, good call. The ball will stay on this end. Race Thompson ties him up. Yeah, the Discord is fun. Alex's stream is fun. It just keeps you up all night. Also, Rebecca, if you didn't know, this channel is a we are, it's run by a father son or father daughter combination. That's why we call it it's in the blood. Sports are in the blood. Uh, she is more of a NFL only fan for the most part, and does commentary. And uh, and we both do we both do the NFL. I do college basketball. There's a travel, but it's a family thing. Yeah, I haven't been on the I haven't been on there today. I've had quite a bit of stuff going on from last night from St. Jude's giveaway on the other channel. Been trying to get all those uh, all those gifts sorted out and ready. Renew's got the ball on the block. Tamar Bates is now in, and there's going to be a carry on Renew, which is going to be a turnover. The ball is going to go back the other way. Yeah, she's killing it, man. Uh, got her 50 followers already. She's doing what takes people a couple months. She's done in a couple weeks. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. He got hit in the nose. I didn't see how it happened. No football tonight, just basketball. Shafino's got a slap to the nose there on coming through the pick. Definitely in, in a bit, intermittent, intermittent, I can't say the word. MB says Indiana joke, ah, opinions. Another deep three, bearing. I think all the points are coming from one guy from Kennesaw. Shafino's got it out high, looks down inside, gets it to race. Race backs this guy in, double team comes, speeds over to Bates. Bates is in the corner. He gets it into Geronimo, but it's going to be lost out of bounds. It'll stay on this end. Twelve on the shot clock. Bucks got a big game tonight. And race gets in the lane, no good with a hook. It's going to stay out of bounds. It's going to stay with Indiana again. 20 on the shot clock. Uh, best gift you ever got was your daughter. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, that's a great story. Her and I have been together nonstop her whole life. So it's been a lot of fun. Geronimo's in now on the left wing. He's got the ball out high. Picks up his dribble, hands off to Bates. Bates is dribbling. Shafino gets down. He passes back out to race. Wide open three. Hard off the back iron. No good. And Kennesaw controls. What's up, Matt Emily? Nice to see you, brother. 
Thank you for stopping in tonight. I'll give you the topic here in just a second and you can weigh in. Kennesaw has got it on the left wing. Looks over, tries to get it in the corner again, looking for that three ball. Gets it over, ran in the corner, and there's another three put up. And this guy, another one buries another three. All of Kennesaw's baskets have come off the three-point baskets. They are up three. Um, Tamar Bates has got it, looking, dribbled, gets around, looks, going to get closer to the basket, feeds back to Geronimo. Geronimo drives, and he travels. Matt, here's a, here was my question for the day. With Trace Jackson Davis being out again for whether it be an injury or just trying to rest him before the Big Ten season, not sure what the deal is there. Having a new point guard run the offense, do you think it's a detriment to not get the wraps with Trace down in there on the block going into Big Ten play? I feel that it's kind of not going to help them going forward because they're going to be doing something new again next week when they go on the road in the Big Ten. Uh, and I think it's kind of important to have your continuity figured out. But – uh, coach is comfortable not playing him again, and I'm not sure what's wrong with him either. So he may just need the rest. They may not want to overwork him. Sounds like we're going to get more than one snow game and not no nine minutes of it. Oh, yeah. Um, Weather's going to play a big part of this weekend. Well, see, I thought Gunn was going to be playing more today. He made a great statement. Yes, I think so, too. Keep everybody in, the, in position and let them kind of do what they're good at. Uh, I expect him in within, within the next two to three minutes in the first half. If not, he's not going to be a rotational player tonight. He seems to have all the good intangibles for a point guard, too. Um, athletic. He has a nice shot when he needs it. Uh, he played a really good game last game. I, I expected him to get more minutes today. Uh, 20, 18, 20 minutes I was hoping for. But, yeah, and that's just – and that's the other part of it. You, you got him. You recruited him. Play him. But Gumnio, Geronimo, yeah, you know that, I, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, Coach hasn't really been leaning on him a lot, it doesn't seem like, the last two days. What's up, Brian? Snowman Media in the house, nice to see you, my friend. Thank you for being here. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of last night when you stopped by. Last night was uh, giving back for the uh, St. Jude's uh, giveaway. Uh, we were, we raised about five thousand dollars as a group for St. Jude's. Uh, Twenty or seventeen hundred of it came from my my independent side of it. We did a great job. So I was giving some uh, prizes back for those who donated, kind of an end of year Christmas type of deal. Kennesaw brings it across the timeline. They get the ball down on the post. He's going to try to back in against. He waves, waves him out. There comes the double team back out. Gunn is now in the game. There's a wide open three. Kennesaw has five three-pointers in this game. Tamar Bates does not get back in time. Kennesaw is on a 9-0 run. Here goes Bates. He's going to drive. He gets to the rim, puts it up, and hits. Looked like he got fouled. No foul called. Bates scores the basket. Here comes Kennesaw, leading by four. Can't believe I'm saying that, but yeah. They're going to dribble drive, get inside. Nothing doing. Rotates it out. Around the corner, down to the block. He's going to back in against Ray's Thompson. He's going to work his way, turn around, jump shot. No good. Air ball gets rebounded by Kennesaw, puts it back up. No good. 
Rebound CJ Gunn. Here he comes up the other way. CJ Gunn feeds the left wing, rotates it back around. Shafino gets into the lane, looks, passes it. It's going to go out to Tamar Bay, top of tip. No good. Here comes Kennesaw back the other way. Kennesaw is going to push. Picks up his dribble to the top of the key. He's got a wide open man for a three. Missed Reed on the defense. And here comes Ray Thompson back the other way. Cannot make shots this game, it seems. Bates feeds it over to Geronimo. Geronimo hands it off to Gunn. Gunn brings it back out over to Bates on the left wing. Bates goes around to pick. Gets it back to Shafino. 14 on the shot clock. Shafino drives. Looks over. CJ Gunn for three. Hard off the back rim. Not a great shot. 9-17 to go in the first half, 15-11. to 11. And there is another three put up and no good. The one thing you know about three-pointers is, is that they will not continue to drop. What's up, Benny? Yeah, definitely. Got to stay warm. Phone starts ringing and I have to. It will, once it starts, it will never stop. Turn that baby off. There we go. All right, inbound pass coming. Logan Duncan is into the game as well. Gets it down to Geronimo on the block. Geronimo backs this guy in looking. Puts up the baby hook and scores. Jordan Geronimo. Scoreboard slow. Scoreboard's locked up. Let's try resetting it. There we go. Thank you for the freeze. I didn't see it. Kennesaw gets inside, puts it up. No good. Geronimo gets the rebound. He affected the shot, then controls the ball. Here comes Galloway. Galloway looking inside, nothing doing. Feeds it to Geronimo. Geronimo back to Galloway. Galloway will start the offense. Double pick out high over to Geronimo. Geronimo drives, puts it up, and he gets fouled. Jordan Geronimo goes to the glass and gets smashed. Favorite food. Wow, favorite food. Man, that is so tough. Favorite food. Whatever's in front on my plate. I don't know. Um, something with cheese. I like melted cheese, uh, nachos. We'll say nachos today. Sounds what it's. I could I could go for some nachos. Favorite place to eat that's in only in your area. Uh, there's a little hole in the wall Chinese place here that has about the best chicken and spicy chicken and broccoli that I've ever had. And. Uh, I go there all the time and probably the best egg drop soup. What's up, Jake? Thank you, brother. Thank you for being here. Having a rough start to this game today. Kennesaw is holding their own from behind the arc. We got eight minutes and 10 seconds to go in the half down by two. We're looking, going to try to get inside and penetrate. Kennesaw is driving, getting there. Look, rotates over to the wing, drives around. Almost stolen by Geronimo. Gets it out to the top of the key. Guarded by Logan Duncan, who's on the floor for the first time today. Gets to the basket and scores a layup. 16-17-13 Kennesaw. We cannot seem to get over the hump. Galloway feeds it over to Gunn. Gunn's going to get into the lane. Feed it inside. Nice pass to Geronimo. Puts it up. No good. Kennesaw has a chance to extend as they push. Looking to the right wing. 18-footer off the back rim. No good. Gun with another rebound. He's going to outlet to Bates. Bates is going to push. Trying to work his way inside. Feeds Gun. There's a pick out high for Gun. He drives. Throws it to Duncan. Duncan's going to draw a foul. Traditional Greek food. And, okay, so I don't know a lot about traditional Greek cuisine. We don't have – we have a Greek restaurant about 70 miles from here. 
define traditional Greek cuisine. What is a what is a main is that uh, types of fish? Uh, how are you, how is that cooked? Um, you know what type of seasonings on it? I'm just curious to what traditional Greek cooking is like. Definitely ask questions when my team's losing and we're at commercial. Yeah, that's Mike from Greece. Yes, sir. Like, I'm trying to, I just don't know what traditional Greek cooking is. I guess I could be proactive and look it up while we're sitting here, but. <clears throat> the triad of wheat, olive oil, and it uses vegetables, olive oil, grains, fish, and meat, including pork, poultry, veal, and beef lamb. So it's a variety of meats. With a lot of olive oil, grains, and vegetables. Hey, I could get into that. Definitely. What is your favorite dish, Mike? Goat, lamb, and a lot of garlic. <laughs> What's going on? Well, when your number one scorer is out injured, your your senior point guard has got a busted foot, it's kind of hard to rebuild your identity. I love to cook. Sounds awesome. I'm going to have to try something. I'll have to get in there and try some out. Kind of learn what everybody likes. And, and I try to always find something because food is something that, to be enjoyed in life. The game as that is at Indiana. The game on TV, Cashton, is on the Big Ten Network. And Logan Duncan loses the ball as he drives to the basket. I don't know about streaming options. This is the best that I can offer. There's a steal by CJ Gunn, who tries to bring it across the timeline. He does. He feeds it to Bates. Bates with the dunk. CJ Gunn starts to break with the steal. Bates finishes with the dunk. Here comes Indiana. Kennesaw's got it. They're going to rotate around. Looks, drives, and they're going to call an illegal pick. And that's going to send the ball back to Indiana's way. Cashton, we do need this game. We need to, uh, you know, we got Big, Big Ten starting next week on the 5th again at Iowa. We need to put on a really good second half here, build some confidence going into that in case we don't have our stars on the floor. These young guys need to take chances of the playing time and get some experience and do well. Right on, dude. I love to cook. Send me some recipes. Renew drives, and he's going to get called for the travel. Not much of a, a, a guard out there from the top of the key. Cashton, are you a huge IU fan? And if so, where are you from and why? Doesn't get any bigger than the ones right here. Kennesaw has, still has a two-point lead. They're going to drive. They feed to the right wing, down to the block, goes up against Renew and buries the jump shot. Well defended, better offense to play, 19-15. to 15, Kennesaw with 6.02 to go. C.J. Gunn with some extended minutes here has played pretty well. And they're going to call Renew, or are they going to get Galloway?
Renew gets called for the foul. He doesn't look pleased. Heck yeah. I'm big into support. MSU is my guy. Big 10 Fasho. Is that Michigan State, your team? Kennesaw has got another deep three, puts it up and buries it. I think that is the sixth three-pointer of the game for these guys, and they have not stopped hitting them. I love Tom Izzo. I love the way he coaches. Mateen Cleaves is, might be my favorite Michigan State player of all time, and I like it when we play him and we win. But Michigan State is probably the most consistent team over the last 20 years in the Big Ten. Right on, man. I, I, I dig Izzo for sure. Puts up a little floater, no good. Controlled by Race Thompson back in the game. <clears throat> Galloway gets the ball, rotates it around. Cop is back in the game, feeds it into Race. Race gets it and feeds it back out, but he's going to be fouled. Bates makes the three pointer. Indiana is down seven. You went to school with Denzel Valentine. That's pretty sweet. Another really good player. Name something you eat or drink that people might think is strange. Free throws, no good. First attempt at the one and one. I like hot peppers. I've, I've eaten a Carolina Reaper. Another deep three, but this time it's blocked by Race Thompson, controlled by Miller Cop. It's going to go the other way. Back to Bates, and Bates with another dunk. Tamar Bates has been our most consistent player in the first half, but Race Thompson's defense is still there. <coughs> you know, I, I, I'm referring to when he was when they're playing in the college game. I don't care much for the NBA. There's another shot missed, tipped off the glass and controlled by Cop, but Kennesaw gets it back and puts it in. But I think they're going to call an offensive foul and bring it back the other direction. What a block by Race Thompson on that last series and a better dunk by Tamar Bates. You know, it, here, here's how it works, Cashton. You know, the last 20 years, Indiana's program has not been able to reachieve what it was in the past. So as we're trying to find our way back, as you get into the NCAA tournament, I always find myself rooting for the for Sparty, man, because, you know, Izzo has always got competitive teams and always competing against the Dukes and the North Carolinas. Seems like they're always there in the, you know, the final, the Elite Eights. That's awesome. I didn't get to, I haven't watched MSU much this year. I saw them on the boat against Gonzaga. And I just know what kind of team they're going to be. All right, it's a three-point game. Kennesaw drives to the basket. And there's going to be a foul called as he goes against three guys. Shot gets blocked, but he's going to get two free throws. What up, Chica? Alex, say hello to Rebecca Chatlos. She's new in the chat tonight, saying hey. Also, Cashton Richard is a, a Sparty fan that likes IU as well in the house today. Alex is the other half of the channel. And if you didn't know, the GOAT mod, Nathan Richardson, is our statistician, and he's the, the king of the mods. Tim's my, Tim's my youngest son, Alley Cat.
Yeah, if you're new here, definitely check the links that Nathan's posted. Nathan, I will pin the Discord link, and then you can uh, drop Alex's uh, Twitch link every now and again if you would like. Make that easier. Balin says, can completely rebuild. Did I miss the form of earlier chat, Galen? Oh, baby back ribs, Benny, for sure. Yeah, I know. My my boy, 63, just had a birthday. Yeah, those of you that don't know, we just have a blast in here. It's not Chatlos. Shalo, or is it? I'm, I, I'm. I guess I don't know the pronunciation. Can you, uh, can you tell me how to pronounce it? Because I, I don't like mispronouncing people's names. Thank you, Cashin. We definitely appreciate that. Shalo. Nathan's the young grandson. Thank you, guys. We definitely have a blast. This game here is a little off the rails right now, but hey, we got plenty of time to get it together. Is there a reason for Indiana's logo? It's just an I and a U, Indiana University. Is it Chatlos? or shallow I, 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 I'm, I don't want to mispronounce it that's all Miss Rebecca is going to be what I call you for sure then throwing out that respect there glad to see some of the other guys get off the bench today and get some playing time got you Second free throw is short off the rim, no good. And here comes Jalen hood Shafino across the timeline. I guess I'm going to have to call him JHS or something. He passes it. Alley-oop to Galloway who misses the dunk. It was a little out of reach for him. Race Thompson with a nice pass. Yeah, right on. They do need to be consistent. And need to be set back down when they screw up too much. They need to learn to play within themselves for sure. But we do need the experience. There's a turnaround. He gets in the lane, puts it up, and it's blocked by Race. Race controls and he outlets to Shafino. Shafino crosses the timeline. 3.07 to go. Indiana's down by four. Feeds Bates. Bates down to Race outside the block. He's about 15 foot. He's going to dribble in. He turns the corner. He's going to get it taken from him. He gets it back, throws it out. Galloway for three. Money. They're going to say it's three, but he might have been on the line. Galloway with the inside out pass scores his first basket of the game, and that's Indiana's first three-pointer. I think they're going to take a point away. There is another reverse layup as Cop gets beat to the basket. 25-22. Here we go. Shafino starts the offense out high. Here comes the pick. He's going to dribble drive, throws it across court to Galloway. Galloway's dribbling, gets in the lane, throws it across court to Cop. Shafino in the corner. Dribble, back step, passes out of it to Tamar Bates. Nine on the shot clock. Seven. Galloway pulls up from 26 and hits it. Oh, my God. Trey Galloway with the deep three. That one's definitely a three, and we're tied up. Two minutes to go in the half, 25 apiece. Play some defense, boys. Gets inside, feeds it back out for a deep three from 24 short. Galloway with the rebound. Here he comes. Feeds it over to Shafino. Shafino's going to bring it across the timeline. Gets a pick. Rolls right. And there's going to be a foul called in there somewhere. Man, Galloway just buried a deep three out of rhythm. That's what I want to see right there. Yeah, they only end up losing by about 14, Balin. I saw the score today. 
and I love all college basketball. I definitely kind of roll through it. Shafino's on the free throw line. First one's up and good. Indiana has its first lead in a long time, even if they led it all today. I know, man, cruising up there, two away from 1,800 subscribers. Anybody that would hit that button, we definitely appreciate it. It's not that it's all that important. It just looks nice growing. I know we got a big Missouri fan in the house, and, uh, and I didn't see what the final score was, but I was surprised. Offensive glass for Kennesaw, they come back and tie it. That first shot was a three by Galloway as they did not take the point off the board. Galloway throws the cross court to Bates, over to Cop. Cop to Ray Thompson on the block. Indiana's considerably smaller right now with Renew on the bench. Race backs it in. There comes a double team out to Tamar. Tamar drives. 18 footer. No good. Kennesaw has the ball with one minute to go. Each team should have one possession. I don't watch a lot of TV, Miss Rebecca. Um, but I, I watch a lot of YouTube. And I, I, I'm a hobby person. I like to metal detect and treasure hunt and do things like that. But I like to come in here and share it with everybody. So Alex and I do sports as a father-daughter thing. My metal detecting thing is mine. I got a channel for that. It's called Ohio River History. I do that a lot. And I spend a lot of time with just different people in these chats and, and, having, and having fun and meeting people. <clears throat> it's not my birthday yet, Sam. Got a little over a week to go. It's coming, though. It is fun. Treasure hunting folk are great people. Uh, I went to New York this year, and I found a, a KG3 a 1700s coin from England. That's cool. I got a Spanish coin from the 1700s made of silver as well. Kennesaw drives, puts up the shot. No good. Controlled by Race Thompson. 44 seconds to go in the half. If they hustle, they can get a two for one like they do in the NBA. I don't think they're going to do that. They're more content just trying to run their offense. Double pick out high. Shafino goes around, looks, and it's going to be kicked out of bounds. That should reset the shot clock to 20, and that'll give them a, a full 20 seconds before the half. Shafino's going to take the ball out of bounds, and Woodson's going to take a timeout. Definitely Alex's twitch is blowing up as well. Fun times right there. Yeah, the magnet fishing's fun too. What's up, Kay? <clears throat> I think so too. I think it's just an adjustment period when you don't have uh, when you don't have TJD on the floor. It's a totally different game. He brings, you know, he stabilizes the team. Consistent scoring, rebounding, block shots. You gotta find you gotta find who helps make you go without him on the floor, and it's an adjustment period. Uh, Kennesaw State, I'm sure it's a fairly big school. Uh, I know Nathan posted it's a Georgia school. Merry Christmas, Rebecca. I hope to see you soon. Thank you for being here with us today. It was fun. I enjoyed the conversation. Twenty ten on the shot clock. Kennesaw comes out in a zone, and Shafino is going to not – there. he gets the ball taken from him. Shot clock is off. Kennesaw will have the last possession of the half. Six on the clock. They're at 26 foot out. There comes the pick. He's trying to get around Shafino. Puts up a deep three. 
Hard off the glass, no good. And we're going to go to halftime being tied. Yep. NFL tomorrow and Sunday. And who knows what else. Q&As, recaps. We're in here a lot. Wow, that was an ugly first half. To get back to being tied at the end of it was something. Let's check that out. Let's see. How scoreboard's finally working correct. Uh, Kay Jennings from uh, has it, their, one of their guards has not missed a shot today. And he has eight points for Kennesaw right now. Let's get the box score in full out here. Let's see where we were struggling today. Let's see. Kennesaw also got 10 points off the bench in the first half. And we, to our eight, Geronimo got two and Bates got six. Pretty balanced scoring. Uh, rebounding. We only out-rebounded them by one. We had six turnovers in the first half. They only turned the ball over four times. Three-point shooting's where it's at in this game, guaranteed. Six for 16 from Kennesaw, 37%, two for seven for us. That's four more made threes, and uh, we're not sh and and we all shot 43%, so they played pretty good D. Yeah, Nathan. Yeah. Yeah, it was a very well-played half by the Kennesaw team. And Kennesaw has been a quality opponent. Uh, let's just see how – I want to check them out a little bit. They lost to Florida by eight. Wow. They lost to Campbell by 21 and Virginia Commonwealth by three. San Diego State, they got, they got beat pretty good. They don't have any really big wins. Definitely uh, going to be a good second half. At least it's going to be fun to watch. Got to get a little, get a little something going here. But with Trace Jackson Davis not playing. We're a totally different looking team right now. <clears throat> well, he lives in a great spot, right? Right in the heart of the Big Ten. Love the play of Tamar Bates. He's eventually going to be a starter the way it looks. <clears throat> yeah, Trace is gone. Uh, I'm not sure if they're just holding him out for rest or if he's soreness or something to that effect, but they've not really said what his specific injury was. Just resting his back. Thank you, Balin. Because I thought our, I, I heard him say resting, but I wasn't but I wasn't sure what was sore. Where are you uh where are you at, Balin? And thank you for commenting and chatting with us tonight. Definitely appreciate that. I'm not sure, Isaac. Uh, haven't seen that be an issue. No way. Uh, I grew up in Hanover, and I frequent in Scottsburg quite a bit in my youth, for sure. That's cool. I don't think Trace's injuries are ones that really need to keep him out. I think they're just trying to get him a little more healed up for this long Big Ten season. They don't want it to cost him a game later down the road, if I had to guess. Dude, 
Mike, that's the way you do it, though. You multitask. I did, Balin. Yeah, um, we spent quite a bit of time when Alex was young in, in Austin, Indiana. That's where her grandfather lived. So we spent quite a bit of time up there then, Bold and Scottsburg. Yep. It's a small world, isn't it, Balin? The other one, some of the other guys are from really close. We got one from Corden, one that Lee lives in Bloomington, uh, that's in the chat here some nights. So we got a, we get a lot of good local folk from you know the great state of Indiana that definitely come in here and participate. Yeah. I was never uh, I was never a big Austin Eagle fan at all. Now do you? Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, for sure. And I think that's the point. It's just when you're le when you have your 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 designated floor leader not on the floor on both ends whether it be your point or your your technically your five uh that makes it really tough so you're just trying to find a new identity as a team so you're just kind of limping your way through these games that's what <coughs> uh he had surgery on his foot uh, I, I never heard a specific injury. I just heard that he hopes to be back by the end of the season. They're really very nonspecific when they talk about that stuff. I mean, I didn't know about Rob Fennessy's plasher fasciitis for a long, what it was exactly. I thought he tore an ACL. For sure. Uh, definitely Miller Cobb and Race Thompson. Galloway's a sophomore and he's done a pretty good job, Kay. But uh, your seniors have got to step up in this instance. They're the ones that need to be leading the team. And, and Race Thompson did a pretty good job. He settled into that leadership role in the last game against Elon, and he had a really nice second half. As an IU fan, how is this tied? Uh, three point shooting. It's three-point shooting. They hit six threes in the first half, and that pretty much kept them in the game. Uh, they did not have much luck inside. When you don't have your superstars, I don't think Woodson's the problem. I got a couple things about Woodson that I don't care for. Um, substitution in the second half is one that I don't like what he does. Uh, you know, Cop is very streaky, and, and and he makes mistakes on defense too. He I, he worries me, but when he starts hitting shots, he's okay to be in, on the floor. If he's not hitting shots, he needs to be on the bench. This is a tough game to call, just because you know this one's not this one's gonna. I have a feeling we're gonna pull away in this second half, just out talent these kids. But if uh, Trace isn't back before the Iowa game, we're going to have some big trouble on the road. It's a school in Georgia. That's all I know. Biggest name that came out of Indiana. Well, that depends on which area you're from, but Isaiah Thomas is one. If you're a, a true Indiana fan, you love the Steve Alford era in 87. Uh, I, there's just so many players out of the out of the school, but as far as NBA goes, Woodson's a huge one. Isaiah Thomas is really big. Um, yeah, me. Nah, I, I flunked out of IU. How's that? Old Isaiah Thomas. Uh, I can't really think of a pro that really has had more impact. 
honestly, Eric Gordon has had a lot of impact in the pros from being from IU. And I don't really consider his stand at Indiana real. I call that, that was kind of fake to me. So I never really accepted him as a Hoosier. Your science teacher played in the ABA. That's some old school stuff. And I saw you said you had an uncle that was a walk on in 76. That's cool. Larry Bird actually went to IU for a week. Keith Smart was amazing. You know, junior college transfer, he had such elevation on his jump shot and, and was so uh, fundamentally correct. Cody Zeller is a good pro. Victor Oladipo has been a good pro. Both athletic guys. Cody will, Cody's very, he's a very fundamental basketball player that does a great job. Yeah, Victor's just under that elite level. He never could quite take over a game, but he could put up he could put up stretches like he could. George McGinnis. What's up, Vance? Nice to see you, brother. Definitely love the past. I and that's the problem. You know, I love Indiana's past. My favorite Hoosier, if somebody was to ask me, probably of all time, is uh it's probably gonna come down to I'm going to probably say either A.J. Guyton or uh, Calvert Chaney are my two favorite Hoosiers. Yeah, the Romeo Langford thing. I got to watch him play high school basketball a few times. Is Keith Smart the head coach at Arkansas? I didn't know that. I, I, I can't remember the guy. Did the other coach leave that was there last year? Alan Henderson, true. Oh, assistant with Arkansas. That head coach that's at Arkansas has done a great job down there. They've become relevant. Right on, Nathan. There has been quite a few that come out, but like North Carolina and uh, Duke, and you know, a lot of those schools seem to just get the recruiting, the national recruits that are going to go NBA. Eric Musselman, yeah. I I like him as a coach. Don't like the cold either, Alex. Don't like it. I think Arkansas is going to be around for a while. Ready for halftime to be over. Also, pin message at the top. Join the It's in the Blood Discord. Hang out with us. Get to know us a little bit better. Yeah, Steve Alford went back to Nevada. Never really worked out. I always thought that Steve Alford would end up back at IU, and it just never seemed to happen. On what school was Coach Rick Pitino? Well, he coached uh, the University of Louisville and the University of Kentucky. He was an NBA coach, and now he is uh, at LaSalle. No, is it LaSalle? Um, doesn't sound right. Can't think of the school he's at now, but he's at a small, he's at a mid-major college.
Iona. Yeah, no doubt. It always felt like, you know, and, and, and loving, you know. Oh, wow, Coco, that's cool. You know, and knowing that Steve, like watching Steve Alford in high school, right? You know, he was the epitome of what Indiana backyard high school basketball was about. The kid didn't have to have the athletic ability. He could just sit out there and shoot. He didn't have to be great on defense. He just shot the ball. Made shots, made shots. <clears throat> Always super consistent shooter. Proved that you didn't have to be the Michael Jordan type to be a, a great college player. And still had some success in the NBA. You know, that's, you know, everybody feel, felt like they could be Steve Alford. Not everybody felt like they could be Michael Jordan. That kind of mentality. All right, y'all, we're about ready to start up. Everybody that's in here, thank you for hanging out. If you wouldn't mind, please smash the like, uh, hit the subscribe button, join the Discord. Those things are real important to us. That's what we care about. And you having fun while you're here. I like Damon Bailey. Indiana's got the ball. Renews back on the floor. He almost loses his dribble. He gets it back to Shafino. Shafino gets it back to Renew on the give and go. Renew puts up the floater and hits it. Malik Renew comes out in the first 15 seconds, scores the basket. Indiana goes back up by two. 29-27. Feeds it inside. 15-foot turnaround jump shot. No good. One pass and shot. Not good for Kennesaw. Here comes Shafino down the right side. They overload on that side. He's going to try to get around. Feeds back to Race Thompson. Race back to Shafino. Shafino drives. 20-foot jump shot. Buried it. Jalen Hood, Shafino takes a in, step inside the line with rhythm and hits. 31-27. Kennesaw gets it on the block. He's going to drive back out for the looking for the deep three. Almost throws it away. They're going to have to reset on the right wing. Back over to the left. Dribble tries to get around. Pulls up. Feeds inside. Looking to shoot. Gets in on Renew. Puts it up. No good. Here comes Galloway. Renew defends well. Galloway to Shafino. Shafino's looking, feeds Thompson, but he gets picked off. Here comes Kennesaw on the fast break. Looking to get inside. Puts up for the layup. No good. Foul's going to be on Shafino. West Point, Indiana, and Texas Tech. And if there's another one, I don't know it. Terrell Burden is on the free throw line. First one is up and good. Also, the 84 Olympic team that Bob Knight won with was pretty awesome. Second free throws up and it is also good. 29 to 31. Looks like Kennesaw is going to press a little bit with zone press. Kind of a three quarter court. Here comes Shafino across the timeline. They are going to switch back to man to man once they get across the timeline. Oh, Galloway just about traveled. <coughs> Shafino feeds Thompson. Thompson looking for Renew. Drives, feeds back to Galloway. Nothing doing. Offense is stagnant. Five on the play clock. Four. Shafino takes a deep three, and he's buried it. Time clock running down. Shafino knocks in a deep three. Wow. Good, because I didn't want to look stupid, Kay. 34-29. Indiana's got its biggest lead, and there's going to be a foul there on Galloway. Yeah, I was going to say, if there was a fourth one, I didn't know it. Shafino buries that shot with two on the shot clock. Bailed out. Of, that was a bad offensive sequence for Indiana. And there is another foul there. Shafino's going to get caught on the reach.
34-29, Shapino has to go over. Is he going to the bench? Or is he just going to go have a chat with Woody? Coach is, coach is coaching. He is going to the bench with foul trouble. <coughs> Tamar Bates enters the game. Along with Logan Duncombe. No, it ain't Duncombe. Good defensive stand here by Indiana. Four on the shot clock. Three, two, puts it up, and no good. Rebound to Galloway. Galloway's going to control and bring it up. 17.26 to go. Indiana leads by five. Need to extend right here. Sloppy pass by Galloway over to a cop. Almost gets stolen. Around the other side. Offense isn't moving too well. Galloway or Bates feeds it inside there. Here comes it's a steal. Here comes Kennesaw the other way. And Bates it strips him. He gets the ball back. Puts it up. No good. And there is going to be an offensive foul on Jennings, I think is his name. And we're going to go back the other way. Now, I don't do eggnog. Never have. To me, it's a nice milkshake. Does it got vodka? It's got to have vodka or tequila. Cobb gets it on the left wing, feeds to Race Thompson on the block, exactly where I'd love to see our offense. Cop for three, no good. Miller Cop can't get started in from the outside today. Kennesaw drives to the baseline. Feeds it out, looks for a three, nothing doing. It gets cut off, rotates it around, gets it down on the block against Renew, puts it up and scores. Robinson has had his way with Renew. He looks a little bit stronger and a little bit bigger. Probably a few years older. Vodka is a no-no for me. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's a good way if you want to have fun on Christmas, but not let anybody know. Cheesecake's good. Galloway feeds across to Renew. Renew drives, puts up the layup, and he should have been fouled there. They're going to let the ball stay on this end, call the ball tipped instead of calling a foul. 31-34. Let's roll. Come on. Referees look like they're trying to regain control of the floor a little bit. It looks like everybody's a little chatty right now. Of course, I'm antsy. Gets the ball into Bates. Bates goes across two passes. And Race Thompson misses the three-pointer. Here comes Kennesaw back the other way. Oh, Cop gets the steal. And, but it gets picked back up by Kennesaw. Cop poked it free. They got the ball back on the other side of midcourt. Nine on the shot clock left. Time is running down. Nothing good looking. Deep three by Robinson. No good. Here comes Tamar Bates. Going to lead the push back the other way. Crosses the timeline. Feeds it to Renew. Renew drives. And Renew travels. Another turnover. Had it with fireball. It does make sense. Proud to have 39 in the house today. If you would not mind, please smash the like, hit the subscribe button, click on any of the links available, the blue tab in the chat. That will take you to our Ents in the Blood Discord. We're looking a little better in the second half, except for we're getting some turnovers here from the big guy. Renew shouldn't be out that high with dribble penetration anyway. He should be down on the block. You can put Thompson out there. 
Thank you guys. We hit 1800 today. That's huge for us. Dave helped me out by killing the Illini. Congratulations to the Missouri Tigers for whipping the Illini in the bragging rights game. Did you expect that to happen, Dave? Honestly? I did, Balin. Uh, sports I lettered in, wrestling, tennis, baseball, Can't remember if I got a varsity letter in uh, cross country or not. I didn't do track in high school. I played basketball, but I wasn't going to get a chance to play varsity because of my height. So I went to wrestling in my last two years. That name Gardner sounds awful familiar from that from that area. I don't I can't imagine it's been that long, Dave, but that's still a good win. I was on a very competitive tennis team. Me and a guy uh, played doubles together. His name was Todd Miller. We did very well. Fifteen twenty six to go. Kennesaw is down by three. Almost turns it over. It was a juggle. Gets it down on the block to Robinson against Renew. He's trying to back him down. Puts it up, and he's going to get a, a – he must have traveled. That's funny, Tim. All right, here we come back the other way. Galloway feeds Renew. Get Renew out of the top, out way out from the basket like that. Feeds Cop on the wing. Cop drives, puts up a floater, and it's no good. And the ball gets stuck in between the rim and the backboard. <clears throat> nice. Spud Webb was always fun to watch. Bud Webb was amazing. So was Muggsy Bogues at five foot three, I think. Good defensive set for Indiana. They're, they're out of rhythm. They take a deep three and buried it, ties the game. The three point shot has been the great equalizer in this game. And Jennings for Kennesaw ties it at 34. This game is going to come down to the wire. It looks like there's going to be no pull away. Almost a bad pass. No real motion on the offense. They get it to race Thompson on the block. Double teamed. Puts it up. No good. Not looking good right now. Jennings is about to take another three. Steps inside. Passes out for another one. And they hit another one. 37-34 Kennesaw. We are getting our butts kicked. Offense looks shaky at best. Nothing happening there very good. Feeds the baseline to Race Thompson, which is who should have the ball right now. Race is going to back it in. He's going to get his pocket pick. Here comes Kennesaw on the break, one-on-one. -on -one. That should not have been a foul. Uh, you know, there you go. The difference... You know, between those guys, where they were exceptional was speed, athleticism, and fundamentals in basketball. Now they just have uh, passed all that by for height. The 
They're going to give him two free throws. That's what it looks like. That Robinson in the paint and Jennings, they both look like they could be 30. Geronimo and Chafino are back in the game. Renu seems to be getting his butt kicked today by the older guy. Free throws up, and it's short off the rim, no good. Controlled by Race. Here comes Shafino back the other way. We need a good offensive set here and run some offense. Come on. Gets it to Race. Race feeds it into in Geronimo, who puts it up and gets fouled immediately. Geronimo is always cutting. He's always moving, and that's why he's always open. Yeah, I know. It is frustrating. There is no rhythm to this offense right now. And defensively, we can't stop the jump shot. It's a low scoring game too. Defensively, we're playing a pretty good game. Both free throws are good. <clears throat> Here comes Kennesaw with a one point lead. Drives, gets past Cop, puts it up, no good. And there's going to be an over the back foul on number four. <laughs> yeah. When I was a kid, it didn't seem like Purdue fans existed. All right, there goes Shafino. He gets around a pick. He's going to feed it across court. He gets tipped out of bounds. That that ball was tipped, wasn't it? Apparently not. Shafino just threw it away. January looks tough for Indiana. At Iowa, Northwestern, at Penn State, who's playing good. And then Wisconsin and Illinois. <coughs> Next five games. No doubt. I don't know, Dave. When you have friends in here, you can just turn them off. Good defense. Another deep three. And they buried another deep three. They are not missing from the deep outside today. Indiana's down by four. Kennesaw has 16 points off turnovers today. IU only has four. Shows when you don't turn the ball over. Tamar Bates just buries the open three, cuts that lead to one. Needs somebody to step up. Jack Estes says $760 if Kennesaw pulls it out, I'm assuming. That's a lot bit, that's a lot of money. There's a shot put up. No good. Rebound by Geronimo. Here comes Shafino down the right side. Indiana looking to take the lead. Geronimo in transition. Ugly looking three. <coughs> Purdue alum and your family, it's all fun. He fell down, but nobody, everybody just didn't want to get called for the foul, but nobody went after the ball. 14 on the shot clock, gets to the basket, puts it up, no good. Race Thompson with the good defense there. Controls the ball and coming back the other way. Shafino to Cop. There's a block. Cop doesn't make the jump shot, but there's going to be a foul call. We're going to hit the under 12 timeout with 40 39 lead for Kennesaw. This is going to be way too close for comfort. I, I don't know. You've only got several guys that I trust to actually shoot the ball from outside. And as much as I love Geronimo, I don't. I really don't want him taking that shot in transition. 
I'll accept it if Cop shoots it. Shafino's going to shoot it. They're resting his uh, they're resting his back. I don't think he's hurt to the point he can't play. I think they're just trying to give him a couple games off. Thanks, Alex. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll be back for Big Ten play. I can't imagine them keeping him on the bench. We have to pull... Bare minimum, we need a 22-win season this year. I'd like to see somewhere around 24 and make me happy. Arizona wasn't so bad after they were that 19-0 run. <clears throat> Kansas was at Kansas, and that's what happens when you play on a hostile court like that. And you don't come ready to play. Uh, both of those teams do look polished, though. You're probably going to see Kansas and Arizona be top five teams all year. I'm just going to go ahead and bet that right now. When we go into the tournament, both of those two teams will be in the top five, maybe top eight at the worst. <laughs> Edie's huge, man. Yeah, that game was ugly. The the Arizona game we played, the Kansas looks way more polished. But, you know, when you go on a team's home court, especially, you know, like Kansas or go to Duke or come here to Indiana to play, it's usually a tough place to be. <clears throat> so that one, you know, I expect, a 22-point loss I, I can't accept. But, you know, that tournament game against Arizona, I really felt like we had an opportunity to come back in that and played pretty well. But we can't afford to start slow. Bates open for three off the – and he hits it. Indiana's back to a two-point lead. Yeah, when sometimes when you're a school that's uh, so underrated, you just don't care. And the crowd doesn't take you seriously. They better start taking them seriously now because half the second half is about over and we're only up two points. Kennesaw has got 10 on the shot clock. They rotated around. Nothing really happened, and he looked like he traveled. Race Thompson with the block starts to break out to Geronimo. Geronimo goes up, and there's going to be a foul. Geronimo's going to go back to the free throw line for two. Race Thompson got up for that block. He is not a big, big guy. Oh, I agree. I know they've got an 8-4 and four record, and they have not beat anybody of quality at all. Race Thompson with the athletic block there that started the fast break. Geronimo at the free throw line trying to extend our lead and hits the first. Agree, Vance, wholeheartedly. I felt this would be a 12 to a 14-point game. I really look to see how we combat Edie because it's not going to be with Trace Jackson. It's going to have to be with Renew and Duncan, I think. <clears throat> 43-40, 10 20 to go in the half or in the game. They might be, Balin. They look, but like I said, they've hit a pretty decent percentage of deep shots today, and that's what's kept them in the game. If it wasn't for this three ball that they like they just hit, they could wouldn't be close. They shoot the three very well. Feeds the ball to Cough in the corner, shoots the three, and he hits a three. 
Indiana goes back up by three. Miller Cop finally gets in the scoring column with 9.43 to go. Both teams have hit four this half, and the score reflects it. Jennings has the ball, who's shot well for Kennesaw. They get it down on the block. He's going to try to back in and raise Thompson, and he traveled, moved his pivot foot. LaRue gets called for the travel as he's trying to gain position. And that's it, dude. Sooner or later, them three-pointers are not going to fall. It's percentages, law of averages. You can get hot, but you're not going to stay hot. Geronimo's got it on the right wing. He looks. He hits Bates. Bates feeds it down to Race, who goes up. <coughs> Race draws the foul, and we'll go to the free throw line. Indiana's with a three-point lead. Tamar Bates has got a beautiful shot. Reminds me a little bit of Calvert Chaney with that left-handed stroke. If Calvert Chaney and Ricky Calloway had a baby, it would be Tamar Bates. Oh, come on, Race. Got to hit your free throws. From the bench, too, okay? From the bench. Second free throw is no good as well. Blowing opportunities to extend. It's not good for us. <clears throat> and I'll tell you why that is here in a second. They throw the alley-oop, but it's botched play. Here comes Race Thompson with the ball back the other way. He feeds Tamar for three. Money. Tamar Bates is saving the day for IU right now, folks. Indiana has its biggest lead of the day of six. And Kennesaw takes a timeout. Defense wins games. Um, I don't give it. I don't care what you say. Defense wins games. And the reason why Bates is shooting such a, he's scoring at a, such a high clip on threes is because he's taking good threes. And he's taking good inside out threes and in rhythm threes. He's not trying to force the ball up. There's a deep jump shot, and it's good by Robinson that cuts the lead back to four. Tamar's going to run the point for right now. Shafino runs up to the corner in the two slot, and Tamar picks up his dribble and makes it almost a sloppy pass across court. Shafino back to Thompson. Thompson hands it off to Jalen. He's going to drive the lane and score. Jalen Hood Shafino gets to the basket and increases our lead back to six. Yeah, landing on that butt bone is never easy. And Miller Cop makes a reach foul out high, and that's going to get us to a timeout here, I think, as Indiana leads by six. Bob Knight would have never had that. These guys would be shooting free throws every day until they were about 68%. Landing on that butt bone is a scary injury no matter what. Everybody that's in the house while we're on commercial break, if you would not mind, please smash the like button, hit that subscribe, ring the bell, and click the blue tab at the top of the chat. Join the Discord and be part of the family. Uh, I, I applaud everybody that comes in here and talks in chat. It makes it a lot easier more fun when the games don't go the way you want them to and you learn a lot more about your team great conversation a lot of fun with some sports in here feel free if you can hit free throws all day in practice you got to hit them in game oh i agree <coughs> i mean you do have to hit them in the games but man but you gotta but to be able to hit them in the games you got to be able to hit them in practice first so what come first, the chicken or the egg? Practice makes perfect. 
But, uh, you know, there's such thing as that choke mechanism when the game's on the line. The guys that make them then. Thank you, Vance. We definitely appreciate that. Definitely. And uh, a lot of the guys that's been chatting in here today, like Vance and Balin, definitely appreciate the commentary. Kay's always good for commentary. Highlights has been put in some good input tonight. Makes it a lot more fun. You can figure out a lot of stuff. Oregon Barbecue. I went to Kansas, Kent State or Kansas State? KSU, is that the Owls? Kent State, right? <clears throat> Kennesaw. Oh, duh. I didn't know what the name was. Well, Gugan Barbecue. Hey, glad that you're in here. Your team's playing an exceptionally good game from behind the three-point line. There's a lot of good I see on your team, so congratulations. I Yeah, I wasn't – it did not dawn. I did not know that an owl was their, their team mascot. I didn't find one today when I did the – and there's going to be a, a foul on Bates before they even get the ball inbounded. <clears throat> he should be in the uh, – Banks did not has not played yet today. And uh, – yeah, Seymour Owls. And uh, C.J. Gunn has not played in the second half, and he played pretty effectively in the time he got in the first half. <clears throat> Tomorrow's got a great build for a, a two guard in college for sure. Second free throws up, and it's good as well. Back to a three point lead, and they're going to press. Galloway's back on the floor. Shafino, Bates, Geronimo, and probably Race. Yes, sir. Indiana, they both teams are in the bonus. Shafino gets to the glass and scores as his defender falls down. Easy two for Shafino, and Indiana goes up six. 7.22 to go. Both teams have 17 fouls. Indiana playing very well within the paint today. Kennesaw not scoring much in the – how is that? A, oh, Kennesaw, Robinson backs into Bates, and Bates gets called for the foul. That's two fouls back to back on Tamar Bates. And how did I get here? Let's see. Bates and Shafino leading the charge today in the second half. Both have not missed a shot. Shafino is 18 or 19, he is a freshman. Missed the free throw. Indiana's got a chance to extend here. 53-47, 7.02 to go. shafino has got the ball. Feeds Ray Thompson back to Shafino. Shafino cuts the basket, and he gets blocked. Here comes the ball back the other way. Kennesaw's going to push. They look it over to the other side to Jennings for three, and no good. That three ball finally doesn't go down for Jennings, and here we come back the other way. Got to have the legs to keep making them threes. Wear them down, boys. Bates has got it out high. He feeds Race Thompson. Thompson's got it. He's going to pass it off to Shafino. Shafino drives around the right side, looks back over to Bates for three, and Bates misses as well. Geronimo gets the offensive glass, and they're going to call a foul on Jennings, it looks like, and Geronimo's going to go back to the line. He does have to be, if he stays a couple years, but he, uh, you know, Creek thought, I haven't seen Creek yet today. Uh, he feels like that, you know, with his upside that he's going to be a one and done. And I sure hope not, but the potential's there. We'll see in the second in the Big Ten season. Geronimo makes the free throw and extends Indiana's lead to seven. <coughs> I haven't seen Caleb Banks today, Tico. 
Shafino is probably going to be a one and done if he progresses. Yeah. Yeah, Gabe Cups, dude. I didn't know who he was until here recently. You know, Kay, back in the day, I always said, I, I was always that way. I always said, who gets to 70 first wins the game. That's usually my mentality, but it looks like it might be 60 today. 55, 47, eight point lead. Jennings is going to drive, gets all the way to the basket, no good, misses the rebound, and there's going to be a foul called in there, and it looks like it's going to go on race or Tamar. Looks like it's going to go on race Thompson. Looks like that's his second, if it is. It used to be 70, I know. Well, he said the first one to that number, Dave. <coughs> Excuse me. Robinson, the big guy that looks like he's about 30 for Kennesaw, hits the free throw. David Clark says the weather here sucks. Yes, sir. Yep. With you, Dave. That's why we went into hibernation mode. Both free throws go down for Kennesaw, six-point lead. Shafino's going to bring the ball across the timeline. Gets it into the front court and feeds it, and they try to steal the pass, and Robinson goes for the steal and fouls Race Thompson. I got you. You've heard that old adage, right? I mean, I know it's first to 70, but I think I ain't going to say what I think just yet. I'll save it for here in just a little while. Geronimo takes a seat after some good minutes. Is IU going to win? Well, not if they keep missing free throws. <clears throat> Got to hit free throws. Six-point lead, 5.53 to go. Play defense and hit free throws. Goes to the basket, puts up the floater, and hits it. Four-point lead for IU. Kennesaw is on a 4-0 run. Two baskets in a row. Hands it off to Shafino on the wing, looking, looking to set, and nothing happening. And they've got the they've got the play defended, and the ball gets stolen. And they're fighting for it on the ground, but they throw it out of bounds. It's going to stay with Indiana. And Race Thompson's not getting up. Yeah, he is. Looks like they both got hit pretty good on that loose ball. IU's not making it to 80 today, Sam. No chance in heck. And race is shook up. He must have took a shot to the testes because he does not want to. And he's going to head over to the bench. <coughs> yeah, this has been a, a nutty game today. Yeah, hold a team under 60 and you win. Yeah, I'm not sure that's what he landed on, though, Nathan. In the NFL, they tell you to just grab your knee if you get hit in the crotch. Usually, when a basketball player takes a shot like that, he grabs the bottom of his shorts with both hands. Also, awesome crowd today. Appreciate each and every one of you. If you don't mind, smash the like while we're on commercial break. Hit the subscribe button. Those things help us. Uh, at the end of the day, if you want to click the link and join the Discord, we talk about everything in the Discord. It's not just basketball or football. <coughs> it's everything. It's in the blood. It's a family experience here. Hopefully you guys enjoy the time tonight.
Yeah. It, uh, usually it, it, you may, if you land on that part of your body, it still makes you feel sick to your stomach or if you get hit. And Balin, my daughter was a, a really good soccer player in high school as well. She's in the chat now. I mean, I forgot to, I didn't mention that to you earlier. We were talking about me, but she played uh, high school soccer and did pretty well. She could have played college if she really wanted to. Because there's nobody's brought anything else up other than him racking himself up before the la end of the last play. He's high on goofballs. We can have some fun and laugh too. Highlights. <coughs> IU is usually a pretty good soccer team. Yes, sir. Looks like we're going to have Bates and Shafino on the floor. And these two are kind of emerging as a, as a really solid two. Women's basketball is pretty hot right now, too. I might have to do a women's game because they look really good. I watch them. I just don't do it in here. Yeah, my college story is a bad one, Balin. I, I drank too much. Wasn't allowed to stay. And Bates is open, but he doesn't take the three and throws it cross court to Cop, who does, and he hits it. But I think his foot was on the line. Yes, it was. He only gets two points for that. Six-point lead for IU. Bates with the risky pass, but the big reward when Cobb hits the jump shot. Keep him outside the paint, boys. Make him shoot that deep shot. Back for a look in. Oh, doesn't take the three. Trying to get it inside. He does to Robinson. Bates, there is a size mismatch there. He's going to dribble around trying to get to the baseline. Throws it cross court, and it goes out of bounds. Good defensive set by IU. And Tamar Bates stopped their biggest man in positioning and his foot is barely on that line yeah that's what happened to me i party that's why i did not make it through college hey facts are facts galloway brings it up shafino has got it on the right side picks up his dribble out high feeds it back to galloway galloway drives feeds over to the corner to bates for three no good. Galloway with the rebound and tip in. Indiana goes back up eight with 4.17 to go. Good shot from the corner. Better rebound and tip in. Jennings drives the baseline, picks it up. Robinson is on race. He's going to try to back him down. Good defense. No basket. Rebound is controlled by Shafino, and they're going to call that a jump ball. <clears throat> And we hit the under four timeout. JB, if I did not have, if I wasn't so settled into a career that does well, I would go back to school. If I wasn't able to make a good living, I would go back to school. Trey Galloway reminds me of what it means to be, to be a Hoosier. Uh, I can remember a lot of guys over the years that were just like him on a team. Here, here's one that here's one that he reminds me of that's back in the 80s is Dan Dockage. <coughs> yeah, JB, I went I went with the intent to, to school to be a child psychologist. Partying was too much for me at 18 and I couldn't make it. I ended up in a technical career and then it's it, it's led and helped me build a real career out of it and i'm pretty happy my dad went to purdue and texas a m for animal genetics see yeah that's that's big balen uh balen do you guys do a is your family like a big are you like big farms or are you like uh 
like more of your local area or you like, you know, like big farms, raise lots of cattle. Because that's all neat to me as well. Texas a and is huge for that kind of stuff. There's a lot, and people make fun of farmers, but uh, let me tell you, those that are raising cattle and, and livestock like that, that's a, that's a pretty technical job. Used to be big. Don't mind me asking, Balin, how old are you? I got you. <clears throat> Dude, I've had a lot of fun in here tonight, you guys. When this game ends, uh, this crowd tonight's been awesome. I got you. Retirement's a good is a good look for some people. Thirty one, that's awesome, dude. You're you're right there. Well, Valen, I definitely appreciate it. It's a great conversation tonight. I'm not watching the TV right now. I'm waiting for the game. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be Indiana's ball. Up eight with 358 to go. Let's just maintain here and get this thing above 10. 10 is a back-breaking number for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know. Caught for three. Short off the rim. No good. It goes out of bounds. I can't say yes or no on that. I think we could have won the Arizona game at home. I'm not sure about the Kansas game. Or vice versa. I'm not sure. I'm not sure either way. That's a really tough guesstimation. Oh, and Bates just gets burnt, gets dribbled right by, and they get a reverse layup. Cut the lead back down to six with 329 to go. You need to get to the free throw line, get the ball down on the block. I'm going to start coaching now. Shafino has it, feeds the cop on the wing. Nobody's on the block, races out high, back to Galloway. Galloway dribbles around, looking over to Shafino. 10 on the shot clock. There's a stolen pass, but it's a kick. It's going to reset the shot clock to 20. That out, that offense was out of sorts there. I would love to believe that, though, highlights. I just don't know that to be true. We've got a lot of deficiencies right now that we got to work out. 15 on the shot clock. Shafino drives right, feeds it back to Galloway, gets in the lane, goes all the way to the basket. That's blocked. But Galloway is going to get the foul and go to the free throw line, and Jennings fouled somewhere there. At Bardu. Oh. Plus 15 Kennesaw left leg. Yeah, hit your damn, hit your free throws. What's up, David? Galloway's free throws up, and it's good. It gets us over 60. There's the first team to 60. I know we're probably not going to make 70. I guess we will if we hit our free throws. <clears throat> Galloway just looks clutch, and he shorts it off the front of the rim. Tipped up off the rim, no good. Ball tipped around, and <laughs> Race Thompson ends up with the offensive rebound. And a fresh 20 seconds on the shot clock. Seven point lead for Indiana, 2.45 to go. Shafino's out high. Here comes the pick. He tries to get around it, dribbles into the lane, gets all the way to the basket, off the glass. And I don't know if Thompson tipped it in or if the basket went in on its own by Shafino. I think it rolled in for Shafino. Nine point edge, 2.27 to go. Two more possessions, a good defense, and we can get out of here. And he falls down with the ball. And he calls time out before Race Thompson can tie him up. And 2.19 to go, down nine. Shafino with a big shot. Yeah, the clock is your friend. You know, you figure they're going to have to go 15 to 20 seconds on a per possession to get a good shot. And if you win the next two possessions, you should win the game. As long as you're not stupid on the offensive end, for sure. <clears throat> you 
Yeah, if we hit our free throws and play defense down the stretch, this might be a 13-point win somewhere around there. I do not feel that it's going to be uh, an 18-point win for sure. But, hey, if somebody can win a bet in here tonight and, and Indiana still win the game, I'm all about it. They take the ball out from inside the basket. They got a set play to the corner for three. No good. And they get another opportunity here on the offensive glass. Thing of it is, is that they haven't hit threes in a, in a hot minute. They went to that well a little too often. There's a steal by Miller Coffin. He's going to be called for the foul. Yeah. We get a lot of betters come in here for some of these games, and I, I always want to root for their bets just as long as Indiana wins the game. But, yeah. And college basketball is so hard to determine who you want to bet on. This dude looks like he's 30, man. This Robinson from Kennesaw. Sinks the free throw. Takes that deep breath. Looks awful poised. Let's see. Oh, ooh. second one's no good. Tamar Bates up high for the rebound. One fifty-eight to go. Burn the whole thirty. Get a good shot. You don't pick up your dribble like that. Oh, but going for the steal, they foul to uh, Jalen Hood. Shafino Jennings is going to pick up another foul. And that will be his fifth. One of the best three-point shooters they've had in the game picks up his fifth foul, 40-some foot from the basket. Not very smart. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, regardless of anything, gambling, you can you're you can chase you're always chasing money gambling. But it's fun. And still trying to get over this cold. This weather's not helping it any. I think it was 1994 highlights. Uh, that when they first came out with them, that million dollar bracket. And I can't remember which leg it was on. But I finished 24th on that sucker. I like gambling. I'm just not very good at it. 10 point lead for IU, 146 to go. <coughs> Shafino scores the, the free throw. Puts it up off the glass, no good. And there's going to be another foul called. What the? They're going to shoot some free throws as well. Smart, Balin. Alex and I both work at a casino, so. Yeah, it was a good play when your two when the when your two best scoring uh, options are hurt or not playing today. That's an excellent bet, uh, David. You know, if I had a thought of it, I might have bet it. I just never bet when Indiana plays. And my cable feed just got screwy for a second. Hopefully it's coming back. Yeah, kind of, but still a little suspect at the moment. There's the trap. They're going to get the ball across midcourt. It's a one on two. And he missed the layup, and but then there's a putback. And uh, my feeds, I'm getting ready to lose the, the feed. I'm not sure if there was a foul on the putback or what was called here. Shafino goes up and misses. I bet Shafino got fouled. He's shooting free throws. First one is no good. 
something's going on. My overall cable's going out. This is not great. <clears throat> well, we'll get through this game. <coughs> Second free throw's up, and it does go down. I can kind of see it. 10-point lead, 131 to go. Just maintain. Dribble penetration. I can't tell you names. Puts up the shot. No good. And there's a defensive rebound for Indiana. Outlet to Bates. Bates is going to push it across the timeline. Shafino to cop. Smartly pulls the ball back out. Shafino resets right by the midcourt line. 17 on the shot clock. Too late to foul now. Uh, Bates puts up a turnaround jump shot, and he hits it from 17. Uh, just flavored water. Deep three, no good. Rebound, Indiana, but they're going to call a foul. Looks like it's going to be over the back on Kennesaw, and Bates is going to shoot free throw. Dave, you're allowed to be wrong every once in a while. This will be your one time this month, okay? Don't worry about it. Man, this is making me mad. And I go up a channel and it's the same, so I'm not sure what's going on with my cable. If my cable's going out, I'm surprised my internet hasn't gone out. Bates shoots a free throw and scores. Indiana may get to 70. Try resetting my box. <clears throat> <clears throat> Didn't help. Second free throws up, and it is also good. 69 to 55. This does not feel like a 14 point game with 40 seconds to go. Kennesaw drives, can't see what he's doing. Deep, deep three. Airballed it. And it looks like that's going to be Indiana's ball. Will they foul to try to get it back here or let them, let us run the clock out? If not, it's a 14-point win. <laughs> well, the problem, that is, that's definitely true, Balin. You have to learn. They're going to let the clock just run out here. And for what started out as a very ugly game, Ended with a 14-point win, which I can't complain about. As we push forward and head towards going to Iowa on the 5th of January. Uh, let's see. Make sure there's nothing else I want to talk about in between there. <coughs> let's talk about our team leaders for the day before we get out of here. Jalen hood Shafino, 6 for 8 from the floor, 5 for 6 from the free throw line. Uh Four rebounds, three assists. He did have three turnovers today and 18 total points. Trey Galloway in the start today gets nine points with six rebounds. No assists for Galloway. That's really strange to me. Uh, off the bench, Tamar Bates puts up 19 as well. Two rebounds, two assists, only one turnover and three fouls. Tamar Bates and Jalen hood Shafino look like that might be our backcourt going forward. I'm not sure if Coach was going to keep him coming off the bench like that. Yeah, I know. I was close. Uh, but Bardu gets it with his plus 14 and a half. Squeaks out a win. But anyway, you know, definitely today was a, a learning experience without – a definitive game plan in mind and you got to take what you get college basketball is just like anything else it's very difficult to continually play awesome and win i'm going to lock this thing down i'm going to hit the schedule really fast and we'll talk about that really quick but i'm pretty sure that we get a week off and then we play iowa on the fifth yeah we play iowa on january 5th and that is that is a Thursday, um, January 5th on a Thursday at 9 o'clock. 
Alex dropped something. Yeah, we'll see about being here for that. I hope to make that one. Uh, I might switch over and let somebody have my other stream that I normally do on Thursdays if there's not a football game that night, but we can do two at once. Man, I had a blast tonight. Lots of great new people in here. I definitely appreciate all of you. Uh, the It's in the Blood uh, Discord link is pinned in blue at the top. Awesome uh, community. Get in here and get to know some of the people that you've been talking with today. And then Alex's Twitch stream will start up sometime probably later tonight. And it's and Nathan's got it right now on the screen. Nathan Richardson, It's Me Scurvy on Twitch. Those are two of the other things that we got. Find us on the social media. Follow us. Hang out. And uh, we will leave you with some shark action from It's in the Blood. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow. Guaranteed.